Here's a vintage Batman and Robin. 1966. I'm thinking that's around the time that the, smooth, the, the TV show came out. This box shows a good bit of wear. It's dented in on this side and rough around the edges with some dents. You can see right here it's out of shape. Dented in here. Robin scratches up on his face. Batman has some scratches. I was just observing this lunch box and I, I think they did a really good job. I'm pretty impressed with the, uh, I've never taken, to tell you the truth, I've never really taken the time to, I probably did, but it's been many years since I've really taken the time to observe this lunch box. I've always known, I always remember this scene right here. They're saving, Robin's got a baby coming out of a house that's on fire and Batman's gonna help him get down, it looks like. I always consider that in the back, but I thought they made some really neat scenes around the edges. On the top, you got Batman answering the hotline. Robin's got a scratch on his face. Here, he's getting the Joker and the Riddler wrapped up. It looks like they're down in the Batcave. Riddler's got his crossword puzzle that he had in uh, on the thermos. And on the bottom is really neat. It shows Robin driving the Batmobile. And Batman's messing with some chemistry equipment. And uh, here you go. Penguin's got Robin going through a conveyor belt. Gonna burn him up. But Batman's coming through the brick wall to save the day. I thought that was some pretty cool, you know, scenes. Um, Batman and Robin on the front. Batman's punching the guy. Pow, cow. <laughs> I tell you, when I watch it now, that's my favorite part is the cartoon looking part when they go pow, cow, when he's running, when they're running towards the screen. This one here is really clean on the inside. I'll say it's probably hard to find a 1966 lunchbox that clean, but I mean, I'm sure, you don't get me wrong, I mean, there's, I'm sure there's plenty of them that's out there in mint condition, but yeah, these older boxes tend to rust up on the inside, and so... There it is. I like how clean that is on the inside. Well, like I say, they did they did good like this on that Super Friends box that came out 10 years later than this. They did good, you know, making scenes around the sides. Like I said, I, I wish that they would have featured Green Lantern on the, on the side of that instead of Green Arrow. That's just me. Maybe Green Arrow was more popular at the time. Um, on this one, you know, you probably have to say that the Joker obviously is the most common, you know, bad guy on the show. Um, and Riddler and Penguin fall right in. I'll say Penguin's next and then maybe Riddler, but I mean, Catwoman was probably, you know, right in there as well. If not above those other two, I don't know. Um, but you know, Joker's got to be number one, but um, you know, I'm kind of surprised they didn't put, you know, Catwoman on this box. Maybe that would have been a, something they could have done, but anyway, there's the Batman and Robin lunchbox, 1966 model.